My name is Bernard Kimoro. I work for the State Department for Livestock, Minister of Agriculture and Livestock Development, where I'm in charge of coordinating policy that looks at adaptation and mitigation measures in the livestock uh, subsector. For us, as a, a country from the Global South, when you look at the agricultural sector as a whole, livestock is a very important uh, subsector. Progressively, what you have seen is that uh, there has been an increase of temperature which is creating a lot of heat stress on livestock. So that has a direct impact in terms of reducing productivity from livestock. We're also seeing emergence of new diseases and the pests, which are further exacerbating the issues around productivity. Further, we're also seeing, especially in the fragile ecosystems, the increasing frequency and predictable droughts are actually leading to direct losses of livestock. And that is affecting the livelihoods in those particular areas. Climate change is actually becoming a driver to other issues that traditionally not been there. We are also seeing uh, issues around uh, conflicts uh, because livestock now have to go further in the pastoral areas. And this is leading to intercommunal conflicts because the resources are becoming more scarce. Working with the uh, CGIR has really been uh, very helpful to us getting information that can inform new policies that we are forming, which are directly looking at forecast interventions on adaptation, for example, climate information services that we need, for the species that are adaptable in different areas, livestock species that can actually adapt to the heat stress or even reduced feed materials, or even tolerant to some of the pests and diseases. On mitigation, of course, you also have to look at which technologies can we use to reduce emissions from the livestock because livestock has been uh, looked at to some extent as one of the contributors of uh, emissions, especially methane from enteric fermentation. When you look at the NDC that we have contributed to as livestock subsector, most of the information that we have put there, we have used the research, especially from ILRI and also our national research systems which are operating. We are looking at a problem which is transboundary. It is taking place across ecosystems. We need to have implementation of interventions which are large scale. And for us, one of the things we are looking at is how can we be able to mobilize resources and means of implementation that can work at scale. For us, therefore, at COP27, one of the things we are looking at is can we be able to partner with any organization that looks at addressing uh, climate hazards at transboundary levels and which can be able to ensure that if we are doing an intervention in one area, it does not become a maladaptation or create a problem in another area. Increasing population means that we are going to have much more demand of livestock products in the long run. In fact, in Kenya, we are looking at the milk demand doubling by 2030 and becoming almost three times by 2050. In terms of meat, looking at almost one and a half times by 2050. So the demand is huge. We have to be sustainable, but we need the means to do that. And that will be from large-scale implementation of the initiatives.